Hi, my name is Christoph and welcome to the Quick Citrus Workshop. Last week um, I showed you this machine. It's a, a multi-plas. It's a plasma cutter and plasma welder in one. And uh, this week I'm going to show you in more detail how I fill the, the torches with water and alcohol and how I set up these um, torches to be able to weld and to be able to cut. So what you, you need, um, you need a, a mixture uh, for welding. We, we're going to just uh, weld some mild steel. Uh, you need an empty container and some alcohol that you can buy from Multiplaz or as long as it's ethanol. Uh, so we use 50% mixture. I uh, just divided this container and I'm going to add the alcohol up to the 50% mark. And then add some clean water. top that's our 50% alcohol water mixture for cutting we can only use uh, we don't have to add al alcohol uh, for cutting we use only water so no gas just water and alcohol take the syringe that was included and I suck up some of this mixture. Now remove this filling cap and I'm just gonna slowly add the alcohol mixture to the, to the gun until it squirts out in the front. there now it's important for the fluid to come in the out in the front and you know it's full it's filled close the cap another thing that uh, is handy to have is a is a little bucket st a steel bucket stainless steel or something that you can actually, it's big enough to dip them the tool in like that. Um, and we can also fill this with the uh, mixture. And that is to cool down the tip when you finished with the, the well. And also what happens is it sucks up, it creates a vacuum and it sucks up and it fills the reservoir automatically. So you have a bucket, little bucket handy when you weld. That's the only thing that you need is the alcohol and water. So there we've got the little bucket. We've got our welding tool and we've got and it's filled i'm going to plug the machine in and start the flame and then do us a quick weld as soon as you plug the machine in you'll notice that it says uh, it's off it's zero there and it's automatically in mode four so um, what i'm going to do just for a quick weld i'm going to set it mode I did two I just want to do a quick demonstration so after I switch it on I press this back button and that starts the machine up and then I can adjust the back knob and it creates this flame knob at the back and look at the voltage there.
Then when I'm finished welding, you can see there I've welded those two parts together. I'm finished welding. And all I do is I switch it off there and I dip it into the water. And I leave the gun like that. And I can set up my next weld, what I want to do. So that is basically how you operate it. Let's look at the weld. I just made a small weld. This is still extremely hot, um, so I'm just going to use the pliers. You can see there. Very neat weld, almost like a TIG weld. But the great advantage is you don't need the argon or shielding gas, only alcohol and water. Right, um, and now I'm going to connect the cutting torch and it goes in the same place as the welder welding so I'm removing this doing the cutting and for cutting I'm going to fill this with only water so this is just clean water this uh, handle this uh, torch it creates pressure from steam and that is the way it plasma cuts so for the cutting i'm going to use the same piece that i welded earlier and we're going to cut off a section of this piece of steel. For, for the cutting, it's, it's important to, to add this extra earth. So for cutting, I'm just going to put it at level 6, both of them. Switch it on. Start up the cutter. You can actually hear the pressure, the steam pressure. So if you look here, Cut it off. Thing to switch off the machine, and you put it in clean water to cool down the nozzle. I can leave that like that. So note that I didn't put this uh, into my alcohol mixture because I don't want it to suck up 
alcohol and water. It's just clean water that was in this. I fill this with clean water. So there you have it. Let's see my cut. There is slack there that needs to be chipped off, but it cut right through it and it can actually cut up to, I think about 12 millimeter easily. Thicker materials, I think you need to cut slow, more slowly and then thin materials, it just cuts like butter. Now the multiplayers plasma cutter can also cut through ceramic tiles so I've got a piece of tile here I'm going to show you I'm going to cut a hole in it so these are the, the glasses I use it's it's brazing bubbles and it's got a it's got a shade 5 um, glass in it and I can also lift it up like that. It's not like ordinary welding where you need a, a very dark uh, because it's not, it's only a flame, it's not a, a tungsten arc. Just wait for it to heat up a little bit. Now when you cut ceramic tile, if I apply this to the tile directly, the tile will go into a, a thermal shock and it might crack. So I'm just going to heat up the tile a little bit. As you can see, uh, it melted a hole right through the ceramic tile. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. Uh, please subscribe and hit the like button so that more people can find my videos. And have a great week. Cheers.